Okay, next we're going to test out the boosted decision tree. I kind of wish I'd done this one first. Um, decision forest fixes or improves upon the, deci the boosted decision tree, or at least it's supposed to. But anyway, that's all right. Let's go ahead and run this, and then I'll explain it to you. Unselected. All right. Two class boosted decision tree. Uh, it's also an ensemble method. Basically, the way it works is it's going to uh, calculate one tree. And then it starts a second tree that'll correct errors in the first, a third tree to correct errors in the first and second, and so forth until it makes a bunch of trees, however many you decide. Um, and it tries to, it's not really averaging, but it's using future trees to try and uh, calibrate the accuracy of the first tree. So uh, Microsoft says their current version of it runs everything in memory, which means it's one of the more in memory intensive learners. But again, great combination of accuracy and speed. Um, but because it's working completely in memory, they say it may not be able to handle large data sets. Great. Um, let's give it a shot. All right, evaluate our model. Visualize. Not bad. I would, like I said, I would guess that this one is not quite as good as Decision Forest, which it isn't, but better than all the others. That looks about right to me. And again, these are just general principles. Um, there are still possibilities or times when a decision, uh, sorry, boosted decision tree uh, will actually outperform the decision forest. So you still have to try them all anyway. Okay, that's it.